Okay, folks, today we're going to take an overdue look at Fender's new 2021 75th anniversary collection. Let's roll tape. <laughs> Hey there folks, Jack here from Peach Guitars and as I say today we're going to take a quick focus on Fender's new 75th anniversary collection which kind of slipped off the radar a little bit. It was unveiled earlier in the year at the NAMM 2021 show, which of course wasn't a show at all, it was just all online. Uh, so there was quite a little bit of attention already placed on these guitars around that time and it seems to have trailed off a bit so we're bringing it back. We finally started to see some of the stock arrive including a fine example of the American-made 75th anniversary Strat, along with the Mexican-made Telecaster as well. So there's a little bit of variety here. There's actually two different ranges. Both ranges consist of four models. So with the American-made guitars, you've got, of course, a Strat, a Telecaster, as well as two bass options in the form of the Jazz and the P-Bass as well. So they're really commemorating this anniversary correctly. They're going, the full, uh, going for the whole hog and basically just giving you every model not every model, but all the significant landmark models from their history. And they're doing exactly the same thing with a Mexican-made range as well. So if you're on a little bit more of a budget and you want to be a bit more price conscious, you can get these really, really nice looking diamond finished Mexican-made guitars as well. Now I've just got one example from each range to show you today. So I'm gonna start by talking you through the American-made model in the form of this strap. <laughs> Okay, so for the US range, what Fender are doing is borrowing quite heavily from the current flagship range, the American Professional 2. So with this anniversary edition, you see a couple of mostly aesthetic tweaks to the guitar, but in terms of the neck profile and the general tone and feel and setup of these guitars, it's basically at heart an American Pro 2. So what that means is you've got a nice deep sea neck profile, which has got a satin finish to it. So I like the fact that they kind of tried to signify how far the guitar range has come in the 75 years of the company. They're not really harking back and giving you vintage specs and vintage feel. This feels like a modern strap, so you're either gonna like that or you're not. But what they've done is they've countered it with a little bit of, I think, a softer, more vintage, pleasing look to the guitar with the gold hardware. Uh, on all the American guitars, they all come in this very nice two-tone bourbon burst finish. So it's a unique look. You don't get this finish on any other current Fender products. The gold hardware, I think, offsets it a little bit. It gives it that grandiose kind of premium feeling along with the pearl tuners. But the feel of it when you're playing it is basically like a modern strap. The only other change that I really like are the addition of custom shop fat 60s pickups in this guitar. So you get a really nice balanced tone. It's a very sweet sounding pickup. It's not quite as hard edged as some of the more modern Fender pickup choices. So I like that they've kind of stuck, again, tonally with a little bit more of a vintage reference. But it's just a really nice mix of all, all elements that way. It's honoring the tradition of the 75 years of the company, but it's also showing that they've paved the way into modern, more contemporary guitar designs as well. One other notable uh, addition to this guitar is an ash body, which as we all know, Fender decided to out from their model ranges from this year onwards, I believe. So this is one of the last chances you'll get to get an ash bodied guitar from a standard production line Fender instrument. So aside from the general aesthetics of the guitar, the only other giveaways that you've got that this is an anniversary model is a very nice little ingot on the back of the headstock, gold plated and a gold 75th anniversary neck plate as well. I like that they haven't overdone it with the aesthetics. It's very easy to go a little bit overboard with anniversary branding and all that kind of stuff. But this just looks like a really classy Strat. It performs like a kind of bone stock, really, really comfortable American Pro Strat as well. So it's the best of all worlds. I like that they haven't overcooked the formula here. It's just a great sounding, great playing, and most importantly, really nice feeling modern Strat. And as I said earlier, the range is also complete with a Telecaster and a couple of base models as well, which are on pre-order at the moment. So if you want to check out the rest of the range, click the link in the description below and head to peachguitars.com to do so. Thank you. 
Now, as I said, Fender have also spoiled you with a second choice. If you want to be a little bit more cost effective and go for a slightly more affordable option, you have these guitars, which are Mexican made anniversary models as well. This Telecaster, I think delivers the goods though, because it's got, it's based on the kind of um, Vintero platform from what I believe. So it's a little bit more of a vintage feeling neck, slightly more of a, a, a flatter C, uh, but you've got the Vintero 50s pickups in this particular guitar as well. So tonally, it has a little bit more of that traditional spank that people like out of a Telecaster. It's just a great all round guitar as well. And with the matching headstock and this platinum finish, it's got that real special commemorative feeling to it as well. But at its heart, it's just a great, once again, bone stock Fender model. Nothing too special here. They haven't overcooked it. They've just delivered on the goods. And you, once again, there's a strap variant, which I haven't seen yet, but I'm pretty confident in its ability to recreate all the best elements of strat tones from the past 70 odd years, as well as the uh, P bass and jazz bass as well. So that's it really folks, I hope you've enjoyed this very quick overview to the range. Like I say, the other models will be on their way here very soon. So if you are interested in the rest of this 75th anniversary commemorative collection from Fender, either the Mexican range or the American range, click the link in the description and head to the website to get all the information and order one for yourself if you feel so inclined. So there we are folks, thank you very much as always for watching. Make sure you leave a like down below and comment with your thoughts on this very cool anniversary range from Fender. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.